Welcome to the Philippines' premier motor show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features in this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A minivan from Kia, the Carnival 2.2 EX Automatic 7-seater. And a mid-size SUV crossover from Mazda, the CX-8 AWD exclusive. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two 4x4 pickup trucks, the Nissan Navara Pro 4X versus the Toyota Hilux Conquest Automatic. On Autopedia, we'll talk about changing the oil in your car. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall add the launch of the new JAC S2 as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021 then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Kia. SUVs seem to be the preference of Filipinos looking for seven-seater people movers these days. But there is a seven-seater minivan that demands attention if space, comfort, and luxury are high on the list of needs and wants. Cargo takes a look at the Kia Carnival 2.2 EX Automatic 7-seater. It's long, wide, and a tad tall at 5,115 by 1,985 by 1,740 millimeters. It comes with a long wheelbase at 3,060 millimeters. It is the Kia Grand Carnival, Kia's large minivan. The Kia Grand Carnival looks stately and strong, conservative and handsome, with well-proportioned lines and external features. Locally, it comes in three trim levels, two of which are 11-seaters, and the third, the top-of-the-line variant, so to speak, a 7-seater. This car review checks out the Kia Grand Carnival 2.2 EX Automatic 7-seater. It comes with a projector-type halogen headlamp, and LED position lamps, projector-type front fog lamps, LED rear combination lamps, body-colored front and rear bumpers, body-colored side mirrors that power adjust and fold, and feature integrated turn signals. At a time when mesh grills are vogue, the Grand Carnival sticks to bar-type grill. Still, the Carnival is not immune to trends. There's a fin-type antenna, rear spoiler that comes with integrated high-mount stop lamp, as well as 18-inch alloy wheels that are wrapped by 235-60R18 tires. Other exterior features include front and rear mud guards, chrome rear garnish, intermittent front windshield wipers. The 
getting into the Grand Carnival EX7 seater is almost effortless. You've got the wide front doors and smart keyless entry. The humongous rear sliding doors open and close electronically. Loading stuff is made more comfortable with the wide power tailgate. The Carnival cabin is cavernous but elegantly so with rich leather seats in the EX7 seater. The front seats slide and recline and come with two-way power lumbar supports. The driver's seat also adjusts for height. The second row features two pilot seats that slide, recline and fold forward when needed to make room for more cargo. The third row seat for three reclines and folds 60-40 and sinks into the flat floorboard. The dash is well laid with large dials for speedometer and tachometers complemented by a 3.5-inch mono TFT LCD multifunction display. There is a wide center armrest that driver and front passenger can share. The three-spoke leather steering tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for audio, Bluetooth, and cruise control. Doors are locked centrally with a push of a button. Windows wind up and down electronically. Park and brake is foot operated. There are 8 cup holders and 7 bottle holders. Sunshade blinds for the second and third row. There are power outlets in the front, center, and rear console, as well as in the rear luggage area. In the EX7 seater, the map lamp, room lamps, luggage lamp are all LEDs. But what really sets the Carnival EX7 seater apart from its siblings is a dual sunroof. The infotainment system in the Carnival EX comes with an 8-inch touchscreen, AM, FM radio, CD and MP3 player with USB and AUX imports, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Four speakers plus two tweeters. Keeping everyone inside the Carnival cool is a system that in the EX features 3-zone automatic air conditioning, with the front getting a cluster ionizer. On the road, the Kia Grand Carnival ride and drive is best described as comfortable. The Carnival is powered by a 2.2-liter inline 4 DOHC diesel engine with common rail direct injection and EVGT or Electronic Variable Geometry Turbocharger. Capable of generating 200 PS and 441 Nm of torque, the Carnival engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with Shiftronic that drives the front wheels. The driver feels comfortable with all the power torque available when needed which can be easily called upon, especially with good use of the Shiftronic function. The long wheelbase helps make for a stable ride and handling, allowing the suspension feature McPherson struts and stabilizer in front and a multi-link system in the rear. The brake system comes solid disc on all wheels and help along by standard anti-brake system. Adding to the comfort of driving the Carnival EX7 seater is the confidence of having such driving assist technology such as electronic stability control, brake assist system, and hill start assist control. There's also cruise control. Parking the Carnival EX7 seater is made easier with front and rear sensors. Also standard for safety are dual airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 6 passengers, with driver and front seat passenger also getting pre-tensioners, plus 2-point static belt for middle passenger on the 3rd row, child lock and isofix child anchor on the 2nd row seats. Finally, Kia also included an alarm system with engine immobilizer and the carnival. There's a lot to like in the Kia Grand Carnival for those looking for a minivan built for spacious comfort. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Oh, 
Seven Seater in style. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. There's a new Raptor in the market. It's been given the X tag. The 2021 Ford Raptor X will be a limited edition variant with only 200 to be sold this year. So what does the X tag give this limited edition Raptor? Lots of cosmetic changes to make it look even more rugged, aggressive, and sporty. From over-the-top body stripes covering the bonnet, roof, and tailgate, the side body stripe decal covering the side doors and rear quarter panel to extend leg sports bar, red front toe hooks, and matte black wheels with 33-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Interior upgrades include body contoured sport seats and Raptor X red stitching. It is powered by the 2.0L bi-turbo diesel engine capable of generating 213 PS and 500 newton meters of torque made into a 10-speed automatic transmission. Of greater interest to off-roaders is the Terrain Management System TMS and the Raptor X that offers six modes for various driving experiences, including the Baja mode, as well as the 2.5-inch Fox Racing shocks capable of delivering 30% more wheel travel compared to the standard Ranger. Available in Arctic White, Concord Dre, and Performance Blue, the Raptor X is priced at 2.038 million pesos. Aside from the Raptor X, Ford is also making available a new Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 with power roller shutter, a segment-first original equipment manufactured product from Ford that offers greater security and functionality when transporting cargo. The Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 with power roller shutter is available at 1.728 million pesos. Autocars Philippines has released results of a fuel economy run for the newly launched city variants it conducted in partnership with the Automobile Association of the Philippines. After a total of 73.5 kilometers of highway day driving, the all-new city hatchback 1.5 RSCVT achieved a fuel mileage of 25 kilometers per liter. The all-new city 1.5 RSCVT meanwhile achieved a fuel mileage of 25.17 kilometers per liter. Honda said the test run was conducted with the following parameters, speed of 60 to 80 km per hour at 1,500 to 2,000 RPM, and aircon set to low fan and temperature at approximately 24 degrees. Both models are powered by a 1.5-liter 4-cylinder DOHC IVTEC engine made into a continuously variable transmission that generates 121 PS at 6,600 RPM and 145 Nm of torque at 4,300 RPM. Aside from the moniker, the City of Smiles, Bacolod City can now also be called the City of Twin Suzuki Dealerships. Suzuki Philippines, in partnership with Ponce Automobile Corporation, has opened the doors to the Suzuki Auto North Bacolod Dealership. The second dealership in Bacolod is strategically situated along Lacson Street, Mandalagan, and features a four-vehicle showroom and a service area with four working bays. Despite the current difficulties, Suzuki remains determined in finding avenues to build our presence, said Keiichi Suzuki, Vice President and General Manager of Suzuki Automobile Philippines, during the virtual grand opening ceremony for the new Bacola dealership. Suzuki Auto North Bacola will cater to the needs of Suzuki's loyal patrons and customers in and around the nearby areas of the Visayas. Maza Greenos has moved its showroom and service facility over to a new location just a half kilometer away from its longtime site. The new location at 65 Connecticut Street is intended to be a temporary facility for up to two years until Maza Greenos makes the transition to a larger and world class Maza showroom and service facility, it said. Customers can rest assured that even with this temporary setup, the premium service and care they have come to expect from Maza Greenos will continue. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. 
the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models, belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Head to Head pits two top-of-the-line pickup trucks from two Japanese brands, the Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4 and the Toyota Hilux Conquest 2.8 4x4. The pickup wars are waged on many fronts, at the entry level with base models, at the mid-price levels with variants catering to varying needs and wants of pickup buyers by offering mixes of features, trim levels, and drive trains. Then at the flagship levels, where top-of-the-line variants do battle with benchmark-setting features, the latest generation powertrain and drive trains, Flagship variants drive sales for themselves and help as aspirational models to drive sales of lower price models. Head to head pits flagship models of Nissan and Toyota, the Navara Pro 4X 4x4, and the Hilux Conquest 2.8 4x4. The Nissan Navara Pro 4X 4x4 is 5,260mm long, 1,875mm wide, and 1,855mm at its highest point. It has a large grille, shows a bumper and fenders, and sizable cargo bed. The Navara Pro 4X comes standard with quad LED projector headlamps, LED daylight running lamps, fog lamps and tail lights, the rain sensing wipers, sidestep high mount stop lamp, front and rear mud guards, and utility track channel to help in securing various cargo. Distinguishing the Pro 4X from lesser price variants are dark colored front grille with the black and orange Nissan logo, the body colored front bumper with orange accents, the black tailgate assist, black window molding, and the gloss black roof rails. The Toyota Hilux Conquest 2.8 4x4 automatic is 5,325mm long, 1,900mm wide, and 1,845mm tall. It comes with a grille with thick frames with solid horizontal slats, wide over fenders with garnish, by beam LED auto leveling headlamps, daytime running lights, front fog lamps, rear LED combination lamps with line guide and LED deck lamp to the power adjusting and folding side view mirrors. Hillgate Assist and Intermittent Windshield Wipers with Time Adjust. The Alex Conquest also features bed liner, sports bar, roof ornament, and bespoke vehicles. <laughs> Nissan has equipped the Navarro Pro 4X with a keyless entry system with the Nissan's intelligent key function, push-button engine start-stop system, power windows and door locks, dual climate control system with rear vents. Its zero-gravity type seats are upholstered in leather with bespoke stitching. The driver's seat slide, recline, and adjust for height manually. The rear passenger seat for three has a fold-down center armrest with cup holder. The leather-wrapped steering wheel tilts but not telescopes, and comes with controls for audio, hands-free phone, cruise control, the multi-information display screen, and voice recognition. Other interior features include console with armrest and a center upper tray, cup and bottle holders galore, 12-volt socket, USB port, map, room, and door courtesy lamps. The Pro 4X infotainment system uses Nissan 8-inch advanced touchscreen display audio unit that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth for hands-free call and audio streaming, radio tutor, and six speakers. The Helix Honkus 4x4 automatic comes with smart entry and push start system, power window auto up and down function, and jam protection, speed sensing door locks, 
cruise control, and automatic climate control, and multi-information display with 4.2-inch EFT. The driver's seat manually adjusts six ways. The passenger seat, four ways. The rear seat separates 60-40. The cabin also features leather drawer trims, interior illumination, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel with controls and switches for audio, phone, and the mid. The Alt Conquest infotainment system features an 8-inch display audio unit with AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, smart device link, Miracast, Apple CarPlay, and Android Audio, and six speakers. The Navarre Pro 4X is powered by a 2,488cc diesel engine and variable turbocharger and intercooler that generates 190 PS at 3,600 RPM and 450 Nm torque at 2,000 RPM and is made into a 7-speed automatic transmission with manual mode and a part-time 4-wheel drive system with electronic locking rear differential and shift on the fly capability for shifting from 2H, 4H, and 4L modes. The Navarre uses a fully boxed ladder frame chassis and is equipped with independent double wishbones with coil spring and stabilizer bar in front and 5-link system with dual rate coil spring and stabilizer bar in the rear. The Navarre brakes use front ventilated disc and rear drums. The Hilux Conquest 4x4 is powered by a 2,755 4-cylinder intercooled and turbocharged diesel engine that generates 204 PS at 3,400 revolutions per minute and 500 Nm of torque at 1,600 to 2,800 RPM. It is made into a 6-speed automatic transmission coupled to a 4x4 drivetrain. The suspension system uses double wishbones in front and leaf spring rigid axle in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated and rear drums. The Navarre Pro 4X comes with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, a suite of driver assist technologies that include intelligent emergency braking, driver attention alert, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, high beam assist, hill start assist, and hill descent control. Vehicle dynamic control with trailer stability assist and four wheel active brake limited slip. It is also equipped with a round view monitor plus off road monitor. Also added for safety are SRS airbags, 3 point ELR seat belts for 5 anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, speed sensing door locks, ISO fix and either anchors, and anti-theft system with alarm and engine immobilizer. Added for safety in the Conquest are dual airbags, ISO fix, either anchors, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, with driver and front passenger getting pre-tensioners and force limiters. It is also equipped with an anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control, hill start assist control, downhill assist control, rear cameras and sonars at all quarters, as well as the Toyota Vehicle Security System which comes with alarm and immobilizer. Many observers note that for many years now, the pickup has become more of a lifestyle than utility vehicle. How Nissan and Toyota have equipped their top-of-the-line pickup trucks certainly proves this observation. Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. 
It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Chinese brand automobiles are slowly gaining acceptance in the local market. Among Chinese brands that is helping in this is JAC Motors. And among JAC Motors models, drawing a fair share of buyers is the JAC S2, first launched in 2018. This special feature covers the launch of the 2021 JAC S2. Back in 2018, Chinese automaker JAC Motors through local distributor Trisenberg Auto Corporation or TAC set out to carve a niche in the local market for its passenger-like commercial vehicles. In the six-model JAC lineup in the S2, a subcompact crossover that first caught the eye of many with its Euro look, and here are features that set benchmarks in its entry-level segment and price point. Recently, JAC Motors rolled the new 2021 S2 in a virtual launch on social media. During the launch, Mayra Nodalo, TAC sales director, reveals the long-term strategy of JAC Motors to succeed in the local market. In 2018, we came into the country as the first Chinese automaker, hoping to make a difference and provide vehicles that will change the way people look at cars and forget what's normal. Our objective was not to really get a big piece of the pie, but get a modest customer base and ensure 110% customer satisfaction. And we're glad to say that we have so far successfully achieved that. GC Motors attributes much of its success in gaining a trusted niche in the local market to the S2 and is bidding to strengthen and widen that niche with the launch of a new and improved subcompact crossover. Much of the improvements made to the S2 builds on its strength as learned from testimonials from owners as well as their suggestions on what would make the ownership experience all the better. Aside from features that already have been embraced by our existing owners, we have listened to their feedback on what needs to be improved and what we have equipped the new S2 accordingly. The new S2 will continue to have the high technology safety and convenience features that the market loves. So what do owners like about their JC S2? Richard Kawang is one of the first buyers of the S2 and has been quite happy with the purchase. Well, S2 is very uh, easy to handle, very agile. Uh, nung pumunta nga ako sa, sa Gada Mountain Province, uh, it's very smooth handling. Uh, walang problema yung paghandle ng mga corners and the curves. Um, the, the acceleration, it's uh, really smooth. And uh, overall, pagdating ko dun sa destination, uh, I didn't even get tired when, uh, when I got there. I still have uh, enough energy to go to uh, tourist uh, spots. Nico Zubia is another happy JAC S2 owner even after two years of ownership. Same pa din eh, nung ano, parang brand new pa din siya, wala na naging problema. Yung performance niya, uh, the same pa din. Um, Siyempre ako, pinaka-concern ko talaga pag may sasakyan is yung suspension. Gusto ko komportable pag nagda-drive. Very responsive pa rin siya, katulad ng dati. Wala na problema sa aircon. Uh, hindi naman siya nagkakaproblema. Every time na mainit, trick yung araw, malamig pa din. 
Both Nico and Richard were given a chance to see and test drive the new JCS2 before it was formally launched. So how did they find the new updated JCS2? And will they think of upgrading? So nung nakita ko yung unit, nandun pa din yung angas niya. Siyempre, hindi naman nawala yun. Nandun pa din yung, uh, lalo na sa interior, yung feeling na nasa luxury car ka, nandun pa din. Especially yung ano, head unit. Yun talaga, pinaka-major change nila. So ang daming feature na nangyari. And um, yung shifter nila, may pagbabago din. So mas na-amaze ako dun. Jack is well known for its ano eh. Uh, affordable price, diba? Affordable talaga yung ano nila, yung units nila. At the same time, mas ahead sila when it comes to performance, uh, design, uh, features. Yun yung maganda kay Jack eh. Especially the after sales. Yun talaga, yun, yun talaga hindi ka talaga magkakaproblema, hindi sasakit yung ulo mo when it comes to their unit. So yun yung magiging ano nila, magiging ahead nila compared sa ibang dealer talagang uh, yung price range nila. Yung iba, makukuha mo yung uh, price ng S2 tapos base model ng iba. But dito sa Jack, affordable price, top of the line tayo. Well, for the new S2, I like the instrument panel, uh, the changes in the instrument panel. Uh, not that uh, the old one is uh, um, bad or anything like that. It's just that personal preference. I like the the new instrument uh, instru instrument panel and uh, the infotainment. It's a really uh, good upgrade considering that we have Android uh, Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay. And the uh, the leather, the leather is really nice. Uh, the improvement, the changes, and uh, the handling. Uh, ganon pa rin smooth pa rin naman siya. Uh, The looks, I, I like the. Uh, integrated DRL dun sa headlamp compared dun sa old model na uh, nasa lower part lang siya have. If you're looking for a car that uh, has a lot of feature yet affordable, uh, Jack S2 is definitely something that you have to consider. Um, it's a uh, bang for the buck and uh, all the features that you'll get is something that you can get uh, from those uh, 1 million uh, price range. Course. Two members of the Motoring Media also got a chance to test drive the new JCS2, Ron De Los Reyes of Auto Review and Mike Put and Chad of MP Turbo. What are their impressions of the new JCS2 and do they think it will do well in a more competitive market? Especially for those who have experienced the performance of uh, the S2, uh, now probably they will, they will uh, trade the older model <laughs> and go for this one. And this will also attract new uh, uh, buyers uh, because if they compare this with the other uh, models in its class, I think this has a number of uh, advantages, a uh, very European look. I also like the, the roof rail, uh, especially for small vehicles. Uh, this is very practical. Well, Chinese brands have uh, become uh, popular the past uh, several months. And there's a wider acceptance now for uh, cars or crossovers uh, made in China because uh, it's no longer Chinese technology, but they already uh, put in a lot of uh, uh, partnerships with the uh, European with the European uh, brands. Well, during that short time that we drove it, what we were most impressed is one, like you said, the torque. Yeah, it's better than before. Second, you know, I'm impressed by the brakes. It really gives you very good confidence. You only have to step this much and it stops right away. So I think the four-wheel disc brake really helped a lot. And uh, I think what is also going to be a good one will be the suspension. Because it's firm, it, uh, it's going to be very good for handling if uh, we ever get there because we know it was already firm before uh, during the ROC so now it's as firm as before so it will be good you know I think if you can get over the Chinese stigma that it's made in China which already most of them are and uh, it will be uh, it will be right there no? I think it's not going to be above all the others but it's not going to be below them
JAC Motors is sticking to the formula that has been successful in gaining a slice of the entry-level subcompact crossover market. Good looks, great features, very affordable pricing. Would it still work? We'll know soon enough. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Mazda is working to maintain a reputation as a maker of premium vehicles that is also a joy to drive. One prime example of its products may be the CX-8, all-wheel drive exclusive, a mid-size six-seater crossover, which is the feature of this edition of Car Review. Mazda has been coming out with svelte, elegant crossovers with luxurious interiors and state-of-the-art amenities, and like most Mazdas, all fun to drive. Among the latest is the CX-8, a mid-sized crossover that the Japanese car maker likes to describe as a luxury three-row crossover. The Mazda CX-8 comes in both six- and seven-seater variants. The six-seater is the Mazda CX-8 AWD exclusive. It's 4,900mm long, 1,840mm wide, and 1,730mm tall. But more importantly, it has a 2,930 long wheelbase which helps provide great room for passengers in the cabin. It also has a 185mm ground clearance which translates to a higher driver's vantage point. The CX-8 has got the smart, dynamic, elegant look that Mazda seems to have perfected in its crossovers. It's all along smooth and classy from the side. The rear is both stately and sporty at the same time, aided in part by the dual-type exhaust tailpipe. The design of the 19-inch alloy wheels and the 22555R19 tires also help in this. Notable exterior features provide functionality and convenience. These include the adaptive LED headlamps, rain-sensing wipers, power-adjust and power-fold side mirrors, and the power lift gate. Smart and elegant are carried over into the interior, emphasized by the Napa leather for seats, leather wrap shift knob, real wood trim, satin chrome accents. The steering wheel is also wrapped in leather, tilts and telescopes, and comes with control switches for the audio system and Bluetooth. The seats feel like they hug you in place. The driver's seat power adjusts 10 ways and come with memory. The front passenger seat power adjusts 6 ways. The second row passengers enjoy a center console with cup holders and two USB ports. The third row gets 50-50 foldable seats with cup holders. The CX-8 AWD Executive comes with cool techie stuff like the active driving display projected onto the front windshield. No need for a driver to look down to get vital info on what the crossover is doing. A triple zone automatic climate control keeps things comfy and cool all throughout the cabin. Power windows with one touch up and down controls are available for all four doors. 
Centered atop the dashboard is the large display for the audio and infotainment system that features the Mazda Connect with Command and Control that now features smartphone mirroring. Driver, even passengers can connect their smartphones seamlessly to the system which allow these to be controlled by the Command Control knob. The system plays DVD and can connect via two USB ports or Bluetooth. Audiophiles will love that it comes with a 10-speaker Bose sound system. A smart keyless entry system provides both convenience and security. Mazda promises smooth power and drive on board the CX-8 AWD exclusive, which is powered by 2,488cc inline-4 DOHC gasoline engine, generating 190 PS at 6,000 RPM and 252 Nm of torque at 4,000 RPM. With Skyactiv 6-speed automatic transmission with sport mode and iActive all-wheel drive, the CX-8 AWD exclusive can feel calm and composed in various road conditions and nimble and eager when pushed. The iActive AWD engages the rear wheels to offer additional traction when and where needed. Mazda describes the CX-8 chassis and suspension, which uses from McPherson struts and rear multi-link system, as having been engineered to be compliant. One gets to understand what Mazda meant by compliant while driving the CX-8, which has among one of the quietest cabins while rolling on urban streets and extraceways, and which absorbs road imperfections well without complaint reaching driver and passengers. The CX-8 brake system uses discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front, solid in the rear. It comes too with electric parking brakes with auto brake hold. But there's more to how the CX-8 keeps driver and passenger safe on the drive and make it a breeze to drive. The CX-8 AWD exclusive is equipped with iActive Sense. It's a suite of active safety tech that includes lane departure warning with lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, cruise control with radar, smart city brake support, and driver attention alert. Also standard equipment in the CX-8 are six airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, child lock protection, front and rear parking sensors, and 360-degree view camera system. The CX-8 all-wheel drive exclusive strengthens Mazda's reputation as a maker of premium crossover that makes driving enjoyable. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's probably the most gus gus topic in the entire automotive universe. Changing the oil in your car. The most frequently asked question is, what oil should I use? And to answer that, very simple. Check your owner's manual. It's in there somewhere, and it tells you what kind of oil that you should use. Just for kicks, we're changing the oil of this Mitsubishi Montero, and then we flip to the section where it says maintenance. And here we have selection of engine oil. Now, granted, this is not the most straightforward answer because it gives you a lot of different numbers, and one look, most people would actually turn away and say, ah, I have no idea what this is and I don't understand it. But most other manuals will tell you the exact specification of oil that you're going to use. And it's always a number followed by a W, followed by a dash, and another number. And we're going to explain those numbers in a little bit, but if you just want to check it out, there are about a million YouTube videos out there that says how to explain and how to read these oil specification numbers. We're not going to do any of that, you can check that out, but we're just going to basically semi-dumb it down for everybody. Eliminate all the technical talk and all of that stuff. So this is your motor oil. Different brands, different branding. But the important thing is this one here, these numbers. SAE 10W40. Every oil label has this. Since we're in the Philippines, there's only two numbers that you should remember. These last two. It's either 30 or 40. Any of them will work on any car here. The first number here with the W, we don't care because W here stands for winter. And since we're in the Philippines and winter is never going to happen here. So all you have to do is remember, 40 or 30 will work for any car that's sold in this country. It doesn't matter what oil brand that you have, it doesn't matter who makes it, what additives, all of them will work, irregardless. Just don't put cooking oil in it. That's kind of a dumb no-brainer. It goes without saying that when you buy a car, maintenance is part of it. Your engine has moving metal parts inside. The oil is the film in the barrier that 
prevents these two parts from rubbing against each other too much. It's no brainer to think that if you rub two pieces of metal together, heat will be generated and metal will come off. If you don't have any oil in your engine, you're going to have a very, very short engine life. So you have to change the oil regularly. It's one of the easiest and most sure-fired ways to keep your engine happy and running long. Now, as for oil change intervals, before, back in the old days, it can be as low as 5,000 because of mineral oil. But now, 10,000, 15,000, even 20,000 intervals is not a problem anymore. Almost oils right now are fully synthetic because that's what the market demands. There are still some oils that are mineral, meaning straight from the ground, they process it, no additives, no nothing, no further processing, that's mineral oil. Synthetic oil has other additives and every brand has their own. The same way that one soap has luxury fragrance, the other soap has extra bubbles. These are the few things that differentiate the brands from each other. So that's where the synthetic comes from, the additional processing after the base oil has been processed. And by the way, as far as manufacturing goes, all oil comes from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil pump from Germany, there's no oil pump from France, there's no oil pump from the Philippines, no. All of these things come from Saudi Arabia. The oil manufacturers buy this by the barrel in bulk as the base material, which consists of 90 to about 95% of the volume of the oil. It's all the same. It's the additives that make it different. The same way that gasoline is, any brand that you hear out there, you hear it often enough, it'll work on your car. <laughs> With every change oil, it is recommended that you change your oil filter, but I will say it is required that you change your oil filter. So, as the name says, this is a filter. Its job is to filter and get dirty. Once this is full of dirt and debris in, from inside the engine, it has nowhere else to go. So where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go back inside the oil and goes in, inside your engine. It keeps going round and round inside the engine with all that dirt and debris. So 200, 300 bucks gives you a lot of peace of mind. And that's how you do an oil change. Pretty simple, it takes less than an hour. You can actually do it yourself at home. Uh, you and probably one of your friends. Then beer na lang yung pangbayad. That's our feature on Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine. Informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.